Hey guys, Jonathan here and we're at Costco to pick up some racking and I can't come to Costco without having a look at the tool aisle and seeing what bargains I can find. And in this week's video, we're gonna take you with us and see if we can get something, take it back to the workshop and maybe put it in some shadow foam. So let's head inside. Controversial decision to start with. Is it Dewalt Combi Drill or is it Stanley Fat Max? Maybe that's an obvious choice, but we already have the Dewalt Combi Drill. It's 125 quid for this kit, it comes with two two amp hour batteries, but we already have that. So this is actually a better pickup for us, a Stanley Fat Max drill with two four amp hour batteries and it's 95 quid and it's a nice little case. It's quite a compact thing. I think we could do something with that, make it a bit better. So that is the first pickup. That might have to be included. 120 quid. Bit of a beastie Metabo set. Never used Metabo tools. But in here, you're getting a combi drill, charger, two two amp batteries, and a load of stuff in the front as well. I think we could add some foam to it. Let's put that on the list. Little Brucey bonus. Costco edition Monopoly. Feels pretty heavy. I think we've got to take that back to the workshop. That's another item we can definitely pick up while we're here. We already have a couple of these. Stanley Fat Max make the same version as well. And we have inserts that slot in this one and the Stanley version, 26.99 plus the VAT for two of those. And with the new workshop, we wanna get all the hardware organized nicely. So these would be a great little addition. That, 23.99 this is, heavy duty, three-step ladder. We use an elephant's foot in the workshop at the moment, but that is a flipping bargain. And it's a proper, heavy duty bit of gear, so that for 23 quid is on the list. That is what we've been looking for, really to level up these videos, pick the quality up. That is just a bit of me. Not everything has to be in foam, batteries don't have to be, and this, if you're looking for a way to get your batteries organized, that is a flipping great thing. But I did pick up one of these last time I was here. 13 quid and it holds 180 batteries. That's a good pickup. So that's a bit of a throwback, still for sale. We did this in a video about six months ago. Go and check out if you've not already. Still a good deal, 108 quid for a 184 bit set, but it's still missing a 19 mil socket. So that's uh, it's going back on the shelf. Next up is the Trek Terra Toolbox Shop Stool. It's the last one on the shelf here, so I best take it now, but hopefully there's one in your local store. So rather than just wasting space on a stool in your workshop, this one's on wheels, and it's got a drawer in it, which I definitely think we can add some shadow foam to. And it's 72 quid, so it's 60 pound plus that. I looked online, it's about 90 to 100 pound online. So, bit of a deal. So I think we'll take that. Right, so back from Costco and I picked up some real good deals. Always do, love a trip to Costco and I managed to get the shelving as well. So let me run you through my top five pickups from Costco, starting with the Stanley Fat Max drill. So first up is the Stanley Fat Max drill, an unusual choice. I'm sure you might be thinking that because they did have the Dewalt there as well. So the Dewalt was 125 quid. It was a cool drill with two two amp hour batteries. This Stanley Fat Max drill though was 100 pounds and it had two four amp hour batteries. So for me, it definitely represented enough value to pick one up and do a comparison. We know that the Stanley brand is like a DIY brand. It's not maybe for the professional user, but everything Stanley Fat Max I've had in the past has always been good quality. And this is no exception. It's a really solid drill and the batteries, it's brushless. It says 20 volt, but that means 18 volt. I learned that from the skill. 20 volt doesn't really mean much because they're all 18 volt. They're all the same, even though it says V20. They're all much of a muchness, they're all 18 volt. Lithium batteries, as you'd expect, that's all pretty standard, and it's brushless. So obviously not all drills, especially DIY, kind of at this price point drills, not necessarily are brushless. So this one is, and I really like that the batteries have a battery indicator on them. Again, it's not something you see with all of these DIY products. It's got a plastic chuck, so it's not metal, and it does feel a little bit cheap and cheerful around the front end here, but it has got a hammer and a normal drill option. It's got the two different tools settings and obviously you've got like this adjustable gear in which is pretty standard so it does everything a professional quality drill does but it's probably just not going to be as rugged as you'd like maybe on site and I had a quick look online this is 120 pounds in Argos so it is a good discount as well it's a good price at Costco but let's match it up against this is the Dewalt this is 125 quid in Costco like I say we already had it this was part of our big Dewalt power tool walls so you can go and check that out but I've put it all back in the box so we can do a comparison now for this you're getting two two amp batteries which is why this kit is considerably cheaper you know if you put 
got two four amp hour or two five amp hour batteries, that'd be over 200 quid easy. And that's kind of why this set here impressed me because you can't, two four amp hour batteries like this, I think you'd struggle to get two four amp hour Milwaukee or Dewalt or Makita batteries for, for close to hundred pounds. You'd have to be getting a deal for that. So that is a really good kit. This one here, it might be the preferential choice for a lot of people. Let me know in the comments, which one would you have gone for? Would you have gone and got this Stanley kit? Or if you're looking to build a tool kit, Dewalt is definitely a better option. Obviously Dewalt have got a huge range of power tools. The batteries are interchangeable and maybe that is the better pickup. But you can see from this model, it's got a metal chalk. It's got all the same kind of um, torque settings on the top and it's got the same gear in. But that being said, Dewalt has a three year warranty and so does this Stanley Fat Max. They also have a three year guarantee and Stanley Black & Decker who make this own Dewalt who make this. So maybe there's some crossover in parts there. You might know better than me. Let me know in the comments which one you would have gone for. And that is item number one. So on to number two. Number two is this three step Costco or Costco, yeah, it's Costco. Costco or Costco, I don't know. It's a bit of an enigma. Is that even a Costco brand? I don't know. But this thing here, £27.98. I looked on the Costco website and it was £37.99. So it's £10 cheaper in the store than it is on the website. I looked on eBay and on Amazon, it was 55 quid. So this thing is a beast. It's a really solid, heavy duty, three-step ladder. It says it holds 150 kilo, but I'm pretty sure it'd go more than that. And it was so good that I bought three of them because it's always handy having something that can get you to like the overhead camera here or just get you up to the ceiling basically. So that is number two and that was a bargain. On to number three. So third on the list is this Metabo kit here. Now this is a combi drill as well with two two amp hour batteries. So a bit of a running theme now. This is the third drill we've looked at, but this one drew my eye because it's Metabo and we don't really use Metabo a lot, or I don't. It's not a common brand that we see. But when I was in Germany, throw back to the German hand tools video we did a couple of weeks back, I actually saw this exact same kit in a German hardware store and it was 150 euros. So this is actually a better deal in Costco, 125 pounds. Not far off though, but they had a whole Metabo section, loads of Metabo. Stuff. So when I saw this, I thought it was worth a look, especially because it's 125 quid, which is very similar to the Dewalt, which is the Dewalt 2 2 amp hour batteries, very similar. But with this one, you get in this whole goodie box in the front. Now, I don't really like combo like drill kits because usually they're quite cheap and cheerful or cheap and nasty. This does look quite good though. Those HSS bits don't look bad at all. I don't never really a big fan of chrome bits. I don't know what your experience is of drill bits, but when they're chrome, to me, that makes me think they're going to round off really quickly. That's like a sign of a cheap bit. The masonry bits look interesting. They're like double fluted or something. So they're like a bit over and above what you might usually find in a standard multi-pack drill bit kit like we've got here. You've got some wood bits, you've got a bit adapter, then you've got a center punch. It's a bit of a random addition, maybe just to fill it up. And you've got some nut spinner bits, a counter sinker, Metabo five meter tape, cheap and cheerful, looks quite cool. Then you've got a craft knife. So have a look at that, that's Metabo branded. That's got a nice feel to it as well, but no one's crying out for a craft knife, are they? This was interesting. This is a replaceable lead pencil. Quite nice, it's got like a little canister of refills with like two refills in it. it took me a while to work out what it was, because it's with this craft knife. I thought that was like an 18 mil snap off knife and this was maybe like a nine mil version. And maybe that's what you thought it was, seeing it through the front of the plastic. So basically all that lot is feels like it's free because you're paying the same price for the drill and the batteries as you would for the Dewalt, but you're getting all of that. The drill though, is where it all falls apart, in my opinion. It must be one of their basic models. It's not brushless. It's not got a metal jaw. It's got screwdriver, drill, and hammer mode. So the Fat Max and the Dewalt, actually, neither of them had screw mode. There's a bit of a thing with combi drills. You know, I think they're underrated. People go for an impact gun over a combi drill, but a combi drill is a great multi-tool and it can do a lot of stuff and you can use these different features to get more value out of your drill. So the fact that it's got them is really good. It's got a nice weight to it and it's got a battery indicator on the batteries and it's got a light. So it's everything you'd want in a drill, but it's got a bit of an old school vibe to it. You know, it's not like the modern kind of style with more like of an industrial rugged look to it, but it's pretty smart. Not bad and the price is right. You know, 125 quid, you're getting it in a nice little kit with some other stuff. Which one would you go for? Would you go for the Metabo, the Fat Max, or the Dewalt? They're all pretty similar money, and they're all in Costco right now for 100 quid, 125, 125. If you were going down there, which one would you get? I'd love to hear, I read all the comments, and I think this is quite an interesting discussion, because if you're going down there looking for a drill, you've got to make that decision. It's one of these three, right? If you're looking for a drill anyway. So, that's the third item, or that's the third item, onto the fourth. 
fourth on the list is this Dewar Organizer Pack. Now this one stood out to me because I've actually picked these up before. We've used them in previous videos and we've organized hand tools in them, we've organized batteries in them, we've organized chargers in them, and we do inserts that slot directly into these. And they're a really affordable solution for if you're looking for like a modular kind of stacking case that's watertight, these are great. And the price of these, £32.98, including the VAT, is really good. And the reason why it's really good, I couldn't find this exact set anywhere else other than Costco, but they have a Stanley Fat Max version for £34.99 in Toolstation right now. That's on sale. It's usually 56 quid, reduced to 34 99 So proper Dewalt ones, rather than the Stanley version, which is the exact same pretty much anyway, but this is Dewalt. For $32.98, I think is a pretty good deal. So if you picked up a pair of these, or maybe you've got some of these organizers already and you rate them, We'll put a link below so you can go down there and pick up some inserts for them. We have them in all seven colors, two different depths. So they are a great addition to kind of level these organizers up. But that is number four, on to number five. So number five is this pretty cool, pretty nifty Trek Terra shop stool. Now this was 72 quid. I checked it out online and it's 85 quid on the Costco website, but 72 pound in store. So there's a bargain right there. And when you're in a small workshop, when you're in a small workspace like we are, every little bit of space you can make use of is useful. So having a shop stool that doubles up as something else is definitely a bonus. So let's open this up and have a look. Right, so, looks like we've got some assembly required. So, let's get it put together. So there we go, all built, and this is a nifty bit of gear for 70 quid. It's got a really nice, solid, single, deep drawer, which is pretty good. It's got a tray in it as well, so you can fit a fair amount of stuff in that, and it does feel solid. I'm sure that'll take a bit of weight. And then you've got these kind of like pockets on the side. It's quite a stout 50 mil cushion as well, quite a bit of chunk to that. And then it's got this on the back, which I did wonder what it was for, but I did check the picture on the box, and it uh, became obvious. It's for a drill, and as luck would have it, we bought a drill, didn't we? And basically, it just goes like that. Holds it in the back quite nicely, and then the pockets on the sides. It's almost like it was made for the Stanley Fat Max combo. It fits the battery, it fits the chargers, but let's take the drawer out of there, and let's see what we can do with it, because without a foam organizer in there, it's just a big bucket, which, what is the point in having a, a, a bucket that kind of removes, uh, <laughs> having a big bucket drawer that just slides out? It's got to have some organization to it. Did a bit of thinking, you've got a drill hanging off the back of this, so for me, I think it'd be a little bit more of a practical use to organize my hole saw kit in there. Now, if you've never seen the Bosch hole saw kit, you are missing out. I've used a lot of different hole saws over the years. There was a time when I thought Starrett were the bee's knees. They were the best ones. But it was always a pain with the arbors, having to like unscrew them and then use a, you know, a, a grub screw and they're all right faff. And then somebody, I can't remember who, but a big thank you to whoever it was. It was a fellow, uh, another electrician I worked with on site, showed me the Bosch hole saw kit. Now this is just a thing of beauty. If you've never seen these hole saws, you're in for a treat because essentially they have a collar, like a 17 mil nut or something, which just literally slots into this. Very similar to a bit adapter. So literally quarter inch bits go into a bit adapter. This is like maybe three quarter inch bit adapter and it just slots in all the different sizes, even right down to 20 mil. So like with Starrett, you have different size arbors. You think, oh, there's my hole saw, there's my arbor. You match them up, they don't fit. You need the smaller size arbor, A1, A2, all that stuff. With the Bosch, even the 20 mil fits in this big arbor, all the way up to, what's the biggest one I've got here? 102 mil, bang, same arbor. The only problem is you get this nice little box with it and they kind of slot in and it's a bit of a jigsaw. I can never figure out exactly how they go back in there. And the other problem is over the years, I've subsequently bought more. I've bought a couple more sizes that don't fit in, some bigger ones. I've also got another arbor. It's always good to have two, so you can have kind of two, two hole saws on the go. I've also got a 20 mil to replace my knackered out 20 mil. That is the problem with these, drilling 20 mil holes all the time. So having a, a new 20 mil and having a couple of spares is also handy. So. That is what I think we should put in an insert in this drawer. So all I need now is to cut an insert. And for that, it's very simple. You can go on the custom size page and you can literally plug in the dimensions of any drawer, any box, anything you want. So this measures 335 mil by 242 mil. So you can plug those numbers in on the shadowfoam.com custom size page. We can send you a piece of foam in any of the seven colors that will slot directly in there. Or 
better value and easier really is to go and order a value pack. So value packs are three sheets of 50 mil, five sheets of 30 mil, and you can chop those down into any size you need. So for us here, we're gonna do something similar. I'm gonna go and find some off cuts of foam, cut them down to size. I'll show you how to do it by hand. We'll make some blank inserts and then we'll do a bit of a layout with this whole saw set. So let me go and find some foam. Right, so I got some foam and as luck would have it, it's not far off to be fair, but I will need to trim it down. So just imagine you've bought a value pack with some 50 mil sheets in it and maybe you've got a couple of off cuts. The way that I uh, cut these sheets down to size is with a long straight edge and make sure you've got your anti-cut glove on because no matter the knife, you can cut yourself in a heartbeat. And then in our pro cutting kit, we have an 18 mil snap off blade. And this is what I use to convert sheets down because you can cut the full depth in one pass. And you can see these off cuts here have got a profile. So they've got like a bit of an in-cut here from the last shape that was cut out of it. So I need to square that off. And to be fair, I will get the speed square out and make sure we've got a nice square edge to measure from. There we go. So I've got a square edge there now, so I can flip it round. And then let me just refresh myself on the, uh, the width of this. So it's 333. So I'll put my straight edge on there and measure top and bottom 333. Measure twice, cut once. Once, twice, three times a lady. <laughs> I think that's the saying, isn't it? <laughs> and then we just cut that the exact same method. There we go. So fortunately, as luck would have it, I don't have to trim the width down, but it's the same technique. Literally, straight edge, ruler. You wanna make sure you've got a square at some point. You know, if you're taking an off cut, you wanna make sure you're working from a square edge because you, you don't wanna end up with like a parallelogram where, you know, it's the right width and it's the right length, but it's on the wonk and then it won't fit in the drawer. So you gotta make sure it's square. Let's have a test fit. Perfect. In the drawer it goes. So that's one done. Let me cut the other down to size. So I've got my two blanks and essentially they're going to be stacked one on top of the other one and I'm going to be turning the one on the bottom upside down like that. And for the top layer, I can cut all the way through. And that's why it's quite an interesting thing to show you. And it will also let me test out the Stanley Fat Max. Maybe I could do a couple with the Fat Max, a couple of the Metabo and a couple of the Dewalt. Not quite the same as plugging huge screws into a sleeper, but you know, it's the, it's the shadow foam test, which is the true test, isn't it? <laughs> so all we need to do when we're doing this is literally load the hole saws into the drill and we'll drill all the way through and then we can stack it on top of this. We can glue the two together at the end and then we'll have a perfect foam insert, everything organized nice and what we'll do is with the arbors we will cut those in the normal way cut and peel so that's the plan all i've got to do now is figure out the layout will all of those holes those fit in here so let's do a layout So there we go, that's the layout all sorted. I think I've got pretty good even spacing on that and I'm quite happy with this plan because I think they're not all gonna bounce around and clatter about in the bottom of there, but there's still gonna be space for the tray to sit above there. So you can, you know, you always have loads of bits and bobs with drills, don't you? So I think that's gonna be quite a cool setup actually. First drill we'll use is the Stanley Fat Max. This was the first on the list from Costco. So we may as well start with this and to cut it into the foam, all I'll do is load it into the drill. And then we just uh, drill where we want it to go. So I want it about there. Get it up to speed. And that's pretty much the trick, really. That shows you the rigidity of the foam there. I'm gonna leave that there and I'm gonna take a photograph because that is an easy mistake to make, not taking a photo. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move them to this one, actually, and then I'll remember the layout, but I can drill them all individually because I do have to lift this piece of foam up to drill all the way through, it's something like that. So we'll drill all the way through. And that is the first one done. And I think you can see there's a little bit of a scruffy edge there, a little bit of a few wisps of foam, but we'll make light work of that with a brand new tool, the Shadow Foam Finisher. So that is also a big bit of news in this video. We've got a new product on the way. And when we cut all this out, we'll roll that out and give it a go and see if it, we can tidy up these little scruffy edges. It's new, it's exciting. So to get the bit of foam out, I can just unclip this jaw and I'll stick that down there and off you pop. There we go, and we'll save that because when, when it comes to gluing at the end, I'm gonna want that. So that, it's the first one done, as quick as that. And look at that, it fits in there perfectly. All of the blades are gonna be safely out of the way so you don't cut yourself. And yeah, on to the next one. So we'll go for the top right corner next, clip it into the arbor. And I think this is a real test for these drills. These drills, we're putting them under some, some pressure. Another one down, let's do the rest.
there we go, that is all the wholesales cut in. That is probably the fastest bit of shadow foam cutting I think I've ever done. And I've got a really nice result. All of the whole source fit in there nice and snug. And with a foam finisher, they will get a little bit wider as well, and that'll make it even better. All we've got left is these two arbors, which we'll be cutting in in the normal way. So what is the normal way? Normal. I don't know what normal is anymore. This is cut and peel foam. The idea is you cut round items and then you peel back layers. So obviously this is quite an unusual thing we've done here. We've cut all the way through. I saved all the cutouts, and then essentially, when I finish this last little bit of cutting, we'll put all those back in, spray glue these two layers together. So that's a bit of a top tip for big, deep items. You can kind of like multi-layer sheets of foam and glue them together. But the traditional way is to use one of our cutting kits, and the cutting kits have a scalpel in there, they've got blades, they've got anti-cut gloves, they've got instructions, stickers, everything you need to cut the foam. And all you do is you place an item where you want it to go. So these two arbors are gonna live there. You put a little bit of pressure on it so it doesn't move, and then you use the scalpel with a sharp blade, and you cut around the item using the scalpel like a pencil, just capturing the silhouette on the foam. Once you've cut all the way around, you then move the item out of the way, you make that cut deeper, and then you peel back the foam. And that's all done, and they don't need finger pulls either, because I can get them quite easily. These come in and out quite easily. So that is all the foam cut, and I used all three drills, you probably noticed during that montage. Probably my favorite is the Stanley, believe it or not. With that battery in, it's got a nice balance in the hand and it really held onto the arbors quite nicely. You know, I clamped it in the jaw and didn't have to touch it. Again, it was locked in there. With the Dewalt and the Metabo, they actually both came loose a couple of times. They both kind of like mid-drill and I'd, I'd clamped it in tight, mid-drill, let go of the trigger and then it spins a little bit extra and it loosens and drops the hole saw out. So I'd say for me, out of those three, that very basic test, I really like the Stanley. Metabo is definitely last place. It's a sad looking thing. It's got a weird feel to it. The Dewalt only came loose once. The Metabo came loose on like three of the four holes that I drilled. So that's the drills put through their paces. I think that was a test of their uh, durability there. And we have a clear winner and a clear loser. Next up is making this finish of this insert a little bit better. So usually that would be the end to an insert. Kind of we've cut everything in and that is job done. However, in this instance, we've got two jobs remaining. The first of which is to do something about all of these frayed edges. Now you can see we've got lots of wispy bits of foam. And this can happen when you're cutting foam with a scalpel as well, not just with hole saws, but this is probably like a worse version of it. You can see here, there's all little stringy bits of black foam. And that is where the new Shadow Foam Hot Foam Finisher comes in. Now this is a heat gun, but a very simple heat gun. Traditionally, a heat gun has got like a metal tip on it. Now this has got a plastic tip. It means that if you accidentally do touch onto the foam, it won't melt it and gum it all up. It's the perfect temperature you need to just smooth off the foam and kind of fix all those little wispy bits. And you just get a better finish to it. That's exactly why we've called it the Foam Finisher, because it's that finishing touch when you've finished an insert off, you have to go really careful with it. You can't get too close because it will melt. But you can just improve the finish. And this will make these hole saws slide in and out a bit easier as well, which is going to be a nice improvement. So there we go. And you can see there, we've taken all the little wispy stringy bits from around the edge and they've all disappeared. They've all melted away. We've also got a little bit of a melted finish on the inside as well. Now it's a bit smoother. And if I put that hole saw in there, not much different because it's not melted it very much, but you can just feel that that's going in and out of there a little bit easier and it's a little bit more of a kind of a sturdy edge on there as well, which is great. So let me foam finish the rest of them and then I can glue the two pieces together. So there we go, that is the insert all foam finished and it does look better. All the kind of like frayed edges are all gone so I can just glue these two together now and we've got a finished insert. And if you want to grab yourself a foam finisher, these have just launched, it's a brand new product on the website. They're usually $19.99 but we've got them for $14.99 at the minute and we'll put a link in the description below. And it's a great little addition to your shadow foam toolkit. I usually do it without a glove on and then I can make sure that I'm not doing too much heat basically. But it's a great little addition to your toolkit. We haven't got too many of those but go and pick yourself one up while we've got them. So Next up is let's glue these two pieces together. And you might have noticed I've been saving all of these over here because now we put all of these pieces that I've been saving back in and it's gonna make it nice and easy now to glue these two together without any overspray. It's just a bit of a jigsaw job to get all of these back in. And now once they're all back in, I can use the spray adhesive. Again, avail everything I'm using here is available on the website, so there's no illusions. You just head over to shadowfoam.com, go to the extras page, and you can see 
all the cutting kits, the stencil kits, the hot foam finisher, the spray glue, it's all on there. And basically, now I've got all of those pieces back in, I can just spray without fear of overspraying into the circles where the hole saws go. When I've got a good even bit of coverage right up to the edge, I can then basically just push all of these out and it's just nice and quick, nice and easy, saves a load of masking work. And the only thing you've got to do is not throw the cutouts away. Every time I'm cutting foam, I always want to clear the area and chuck all of the foam cutouts into the bin as soon as possible. To mask it all off or to try and put the glue on there without all of this is not easy. And there we go, I can feel it's already getting really, really tacky. So we just stick that on there. So there you go, that is the insert all done, and it looks proper smart, that does. That is a much better way of organising my hole saws in that drawer. So I think we've taken that shop stool and levelled it up. So I'm pretty happy about that. Let's stick it in the drawer. So that is it, the Trek Terror, and I'm really happy with that. For 70 quid, you've got a nice big deep drawer, hole saws all organized, and I can still get the tray in there. So I think that's a pretty good use of that space. What would you have done? Would you have put something different in here? I'm pretty sure you would have done. Let me know what you'd have done. But yeah, that's fifth on the list. Let me show you the bonus. You've won another Brucey bonus. So the bonus item is Costco Monopoly. Now, uh, nothing says Costco quite like Costco. <laughs> Now, you know you've made it as a retail store when you've got your very own Monopoly. This was $37.99, so I don't know if that's a good or a bad price, to be fair. It's not something I buy very often, a set of Monopoly. But opening the box, it does feel like a very premium version, better than any version of Monopoly I've ever had before. I mean, that board is giving me a headache just looking at it, but maybe I'd work it out playing it. Box is quite nice. It's got like a, a flocked tray, so you don't know what flocking is. It's pretty amazing. They kind of like spray glue over a material, and then they spray like really fine fibres, and they use like a negative charge and then a positive charged fiber and it kind of blows on and it gets this really nice finish oh, great finish have you been to costco because i i love it and i love the pizza and one of the pieces in the kit is a pizza slice and then little costco stores is what they have for the hotels we've got a little premium membership card and a little pallet truck we've got a classic hot dog and drink that's two dollars in it or two quid in the uk for a hot dog and a drink and apparently the uh the md said he was never wants that price increasing. And I love that, I think that's awesome. Shopping cart, one of their mammoth shopping carts that you have in Costco, flipping crazy times. I mean, for you in uh, America, it's probably nothing special, but for us, a normal shopping trolley in the UK, it's quite small. You go to Costco, it's a vast thing, it's crazy. And the car parking spaces, I wish everywhere in the UK did car parking spaces like Costco. And then you've got two dice, they do say Costco on them, which is quite cool. So it's quite a custom set. This is quite cool as well, look at this. I did wonder where the community chest and chance card slots were, and then I saw these, and I can only assume you put the pallets in amongst all of this craziness, and then you just rest the cards on them, and they don't have chance and community chest. They've got gold star member and executive member, and then they've got all of the uh, property cards, and then two big stacks of money. That's a pretty cool video. Not much to put in foam, but the one thing of note is these inserts. You don't get these nice flocked inserts in a normal set of Monopoly, do you? And uh, I don't know if there's much chance on improving that with, uh, with Shadow Foam, because they are really, really cool. But we have done a board game in the past, we did a full Catan set. Now that's something that I'd like to do more of really, because the custom 3D Catan set, we took a big box and boiled it down into a little chest. And that was a really cool project that we made for Nerdforge. So that was pretty cool. And I think I'd love to have a go at doing a really custom Monopoly set, but let me know in the comments, are you a Monopoly fan? So that's the Costco Monopoly. That is the bonus pickup from Costco. Why is it a bonus? Well, it's a giveaway. We're gonna give this away to one lucky viewer and one lucky commenter, because that is the main thing you've got to do. We did a giveaway a couple of weeks ago where we gave away a paint scraper which is this one here. We've not drawn the winners for that yet. That's from our German tool video, but it went down a storm and everyone loved it. And I think simple little giveaways like this are a bit of fun for everybody. So for the Costco video, we picked up the Costco Monopoly. And if you want a chance to win this set, and like I say, it's a really nice premium set, probably the best set of Monopoly I've ever looked at. It's a nice set, great for this time of year when you're playing games with families. And if you want to win it, all you've got to do is make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. You've got to like the video and then drop us a comment. That's the main thing so we know you've entered. 
commented, and it doesn't have to be a comment about Monopoly, although I would love to hear if you're a big fan of the game or maybe what version of Monopoly you've got. If you want to let me know which drill you'd have gone for, Dewalt or Fat Max, what you think of this Terra Trek, would you get one? What would you put in that big drawer if you had that box? So there we go, that is my top five pickups from Costco, or Costco Tool Isle mainly, to be fair, I could have filled a trolley with things from Costco in general, but from the Tool Isle, these are my top five pickups plus a bonus, which we're giving away, so make sure you drop a comment so you can be involved in the giveaway for that. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you like that video, why not check out some of our others? We've got new videos coming out every week. And Colin Furs, what's the quickest way for people to see these videos? Subscribe.